Welcome to the show. We're going to watch some baggage. This is Patricia. She's got a secret and it's hidden inside oh. this red bag. Oh. Alien head turn. Did she dump her fiance on their oh. wedding day? Oh. Did she forge a check to a charity? Oh. Or was she thrown out of a theme park for having sex? Yeah. We'll open up this bag and a whole lot more coming up on baggage. Ooh, yeah. Pulled back right at the end. Baggage. She looked like a painting came to life. Yeah. What was her name? Patricia? Maybe. This episode of Baggage is brought to you by Ridge Wallet. It's a wallet. It's super sturdy. You can pick... You can fit 12 cards in 12 here cards. or less, money, and anything cash. you want. This is mine. Put your it's, nose in it, there. You can also trap things in here if you wanted to, and you can get it for 10% off right now using code JOMBOYS. They've got 50,000 five-star reviews, and there's over 30 colors and styles, including carbon fiber and Burnt titanium, Jake's old nickname. Mm. So they also got the guarantee. They're so confident you like it, they'll let you test it for 45 days, and then you can send it back full refund. 10% off Ridge Wallet. <laughs> Sturdy as shit. Now, break Jake, it if we wanted to. Last week's episode was so bad. No. And we're watching them in order of release. Yes. That I think Baggage took, like, the best one that was in the chamber and, right. like, rushed it up. We got to get the we gotta stink get of Lou of off. Okay. So I think we're in for a good one, although I we had didn't the same love reaction to, head turns. to P. <clears throat> Playoff P. Hi, Did you I'm get comfy? I got comfy for this one. Where singles confess their dirty secrets in the search for new love. Right now, let's meet our dater. She's a flight attendant from San Diego. Please welcome Patricia. A real job. Power walk. Power walk. Hi, Patricia. Okay. How are you? Good. Very oh, nice to meet yes you. Yes, for Jerry. Nice you are a flight attendant? Yes, I am. Well, uh, you mustn't have difficulty meeting men. I sort of do because most of the people that fly with me yes. are married. Oh, so, oh she yeah. was married only That kind of takes them out of the picture, it does, right? Yeah. Do they hit on you all the time? Oh, all the time. Yeah. Especially oh. when the wives are in the restroom. Oh, oh yeah. wow, wow, wow. Yeah, because they're separated then. Yes. Just, right. he's uh -huh. Just like I'm doing yeah. right now. Yeah. yeah. Okay, well, I think we've got three nice Jerry guys Jerry was all over there. Wonderful, that. exciting. Yeah. Give me some, give me some studs. Little baggage. Okay. Oh, she we'll deserves one right? and a half studs. All right. All right. Ready to meet him? I am. He's a bartender from Palm Desert, California. Say hello to Harry. Palm Desert. Okay. Oh, uh, that's Trisha. a baggage shirt. Um, you know, I'm just a fun-loving guy. I never take myself too seriously. I can tell dumb jokes, twirl the baton. Something with metal music or uh, what's he's satanic. And I just if you choose me, you're guaranteed to have a good time. That's for sure. All right. Well, I'm still in college. Up next, he's a security systems technician from Munich, Germany. Give it up Ooh. for Tony. Wow. Came wow. late. Hello. Gosh, what a beautiful girl. Um, just to let you know, I'm a well-cultured young man who uh, enjoys traveling and fine wine and beautiful cuisine. And finally, he is a contractor from... Say it. Say it. In their head, they already had sex. They both fucked each other. They right both there. just had sex right yeah. there. Yeah, yeah. It's a nice moment. And they Houston, liked it. Houston, Texas, let's hear it for Clayton. Competition or no. Oh, shit. Well, hi, Patricia. You are definitely a cutie pie. Um, mm. I have, uh, I'm an ex-Golden Gloves champion, a boxing champion. I see that. <laughs> I've, oh, I've boy. I've served my country as a Marine. And oh, fantastic. Thank you. And, and you guys were out on Clayton the Marine. You are by far the biggest. Oh. Nice. So, okay, so, as you can see. Tough go of it for the baggage shirt guy. I mean, he showed up in full Satan clothing. So they gave him this blue V-neck. He's not going to win. He worships the devil. It's his second bag. I would put heavy odds on him not winning. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. They have a small, medium, and large bag. Each and we all weren't sure if she'd be into the boxing guy, but that instant reaction to yeah, him yeah. busting out of the shirt. A but she did fuck the German. Otherwise oh, known yes. As their baggage. And she hasn't with now, the boxing guy. Of course, guy the bigger yet. the bag, no. the bigger the baggage. This way, Patricia knows their flaws before she chooses one of these flaws. guys for a date. So, flaws. gentlemen, it is time to reveal your smallest piece of baggage. 
Oh, did they play the music for them? Let's kind start of did a with Harry. Head bobbing. I keep love letters from my exes. Ooh, that, that's that's not a good one, Jerry. What's yeah, that, that could be, be an issue. Yeah. Like sometimes you have like a uh, like a shoebox of like memorabilia when you date someone. Yeah. Like Katie has one for us letters that we sure. each other. Like like maybe like the mints from our first so date or something like that. He has love letters from his exes. Yeah. But I mean, like when I was dating, I have stuff that Katie, like Katie writes me notes. I have right. them all saved somewhere. It'd be right. like if we broke up, then I throw them you out. You still kept them. I while probably have a ton. Else. Right. I don't, I don't throw anything out. Right. And I have like tons of old journals and school books where we wrote notes to each other. So right. Yeah, I probably could save it. Uh, yeah. I don't I think I want someone who has like, um, they're still hung up on like an ex or something. Yeah. True. I want someone who's 100% oh, no. into me. Right. You know, I'm ready to meet a great guy. And if he's keeping love letters from an ex, it sounds like he hasn't gotten over her. Like, I thought he was like playing defense. Like his ex was receiving love letters and he was <laughs> intercepting them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Keeping love letters from his ex. <laughs> and that's why I was confused. Yeah. So. Uh, well, I just say I'm a hopeless romantic, and I have love letters from girls from high school. And, uh, you know, and I don't look at it just like one day when I'm a grandfather, I'd like to show my kids. Maybe I'll be showing them a letter from you one day. That's creepy, dude. It's a little creepy. See, like, but, like, I don't, I think if he was just like, I don't throw. I think you can do you it. Can, like, you go read them. If that's you weird. kept a love letter from, like, a 16-year-old crush and you dug that up one day, like, there's emotions there that don't interrupt your current life. Yeah, I'm, like, thinking about places where I could go find high school notes. Right. I have all my high school notebooks still. It's got all of them, people. That'll be an episode one day. That means you're going to be an ex? <laughs> <laughs> Uh. I count my girlfriend's calories. Hey, that's like in a good way. Good reaction. Oh, good in way. a good Great. way. Okay, that well, with you, he doesn't have to count that high. That's the good news. <laughs> you mean, but um, there's only one way to do it. Control issues. Yeah, maybe a control issue. Maybe <laughs> you know, you'd like dessert. Oh no. Yeah. 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 It's about staying healthy and staying fit and staying active, which is what I expect from my companion. And. Um, Expect or would like? <laughs> Expect. Wow. German engineering. Yeah, yeah. It is what it is. It is okay. And then we have Clayton. I like Clayton, that he was, I mean, that's baggage. You don't want to do someone being annoying. All right. All right, cool. You're a boxer. I pee in the shower every morning. You want to shower before him. Yeah, definitely. You definitely want to shower before. Maybe him. she wants to shower yeah. with that's, him, Jerry. Uh, Don't judge. Oh. Nasty. How and far is the toilet? I know, right? 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 I just go to the, the same place. It's, it's warm. The water's coming down. <laughs> you gotta go. I, it's clean, and uh, we're saving water. You're being eco-friendly. That's all. Yep. I don't know. While showering, I'm trying. No, I'm trying. <laughs> oh. All right, up next, all right. it's all our right. deal Jerry's breaker like round when Patricia <laughs> sees <laughs> what's in the in their medium sized bags. Jerry Find out whose baggage gets thrown out the window when we come back. Zach, you pee in the shower? Um, I'd be lying if I said I hadn't done it once before. Yeah. That's fine. Appreciate but your not, honesty. But not a frequent occurrence. Not a regularity. All. Absolutely not. But it's water going down a hole. If I got eventually. dirt on my feet and I need to get it off. Right. Okay. He's got a really weak shower head, so when he pees, that's what yeah. he saves for the dirt. Yes. Well, yeah, the shower's not on when I'm in there peeing. <laughs> 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 that guy should have said the shower's not on. <laughs> <laughs> I just prefer it. <laughs> Don't get it confused. Yeah, it's not while I'm showering. Age, where <laughs> singles reveal the ugly truth so they can find an uh, honest relationship. Jerry, now, we watch this all the time, dude. <laughs> And Clayton no, Hoops. Dude, bags. we could we probably do a. <laughs> we know the show. We could show. probably do a chopped up version of this. That's like. Can we make copyright, salads? Copyright and free because there's so much. I will open. I think the second season now, gets less repetitive. Place randomly so Patricia won't know which bag belongs to which guy. Once that she shirt's decides tight. what her deal is. I know you're trying is, to show off. The man who claims that the bag boxer. Our boxer will be is going home. Up. It is time to reveal 
more baggage. We need a killer here that she might get rid of. Or, Bag or number one. Is. Letters. Right, if it becomes a one on one. That's the germ. I paid for a happy he ending. He went to massage. Amsterdam. I love those kind of stories. <laughs> a good happy ending. Bag joke. number two. Oh, oh. <laughs> I must be oh, alone that's... after sex. That could be the boxer in a weird way. Guess it's better than yeah. being alone during sex. Ooh. Bag number three. True, 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 true. Yeah. Oh, is okay. that the German? I'm a 36-year-old grandfather. Wait, grandfather? 36? So what's 36 minus 15? 36 minus 15 is 21. So, so they, it works then. Which way? 16-year-old has a 16-year-old? Right? That would be 32. You got some wiggle room there. So, so if you were 16 and yeah. had a kid. Yeah. And then your 16-year-old has a kid. That's two tight windows there. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But it happens. It's nothing. It's, the math doesn't. It's nothing depraved. It's just tight. Maybe they adopted like a dog they call grandkid. That would be a pretty What are you thinking? List. I think that's the box. I'm thinking these guys have baggage. <laughs> the way yeah. he was laying it in. <laughs> more than I thought. More so. than she thought. All right. Yeah. Well, there's Game. more coming. Here you have it. Henrietta. I have to ask you now. Do you which have Which one it? of these is a deal breaker? I'm sick because for me. Because whoever peanuts. claims that baggage will be going home. I mean, Jen, grand. My deal breaker is. Grandfather's like, jeez, you got a whole lot going on. It's tight. Like it's a family you're dating into. You know what I mean? But uh, she's gonna say I've paid, paid for, sex, for a yeah. happy ending massage. I think that's the German. I liked your German lean there. Because I don't want a guy that pays for sex. Oh, good choice then. That's, that's a great choice. To claim your baggage. Hey, you guys want to go up there and do the part of the show that we do now? I made too many peanuts. What's wrong? What happens after you eat peanuts? You got to poop? It's uncomfortable. Oh, boy. Oh, they're, they're, they're all doing sign language. This guy. Is his name Mike? Oh. Yeah, I nailed that. Holy cow. <laughs> well, at least you know the masseuse wasn't fat. <laughs> Bangkok is known for Bangkok, a damn. few certain things. <laughs> Not and uh, yeah. I had to delve into those certain things. I'm sorry, Tony, but it is time. Isn't to that pack the second time we had someone say they paid for bada sex bing, bada in boom. Thailand? Yeah. See you later. See you later. But the guy was like, I was getting a massage and it was like six bucks. So I yeah. punched it. Six months of perfectmatch.com yeah. online dating service. <laughs> so maybe Tony will find someone who can handle his baggage. Although. Someone apparently already did. <laughs> <laughs> Two men remain. We have Harry, who must be alone after sex. Obviously. And Clayton, who's a 36-year-old <laughs> grandfather. So why don't you guys join me over on the hot seat, and we will get the stories behind I the think baggage. that counts as a three for three. Yeah, I got I it. I guess it's uh, back to Thailand for me. No problem there. Peace. Welcome to the hot seat, Sweet. brought to you by Intellius Day Check because no one should go on a date completely in the dark. Harry and Clayton just revealed two big Harry secrets. And, Clayton. and now Patricia wants to know the truth behind their baggage. Harry likes to be alone after sex, and your concern with that is... When you're Dream. having sex, it's a very intimate act, okay? So you don't strike me as the type that would not want to snuggle after sex. What's up with that? You mentioned earlier it's an intimate act. It's also a very physical act, I like to get up, you know, catch my breath, have you catch your breath, you know, maybe go make a sandwich real quick and then come back and get in, you know, get replenished the... There is nothing like bagel, cream cheese, and lox right after sex. I got to tell you. you. See her and laugh face? That what hurts. is the concern yeah. with Clayton being a 36-year-old grandfather? Can you elaborate? Like, how, how did that happen? Um, well, <laughs> well first I mean, I know how it happened, but how it happened. What, what's, why? Huh. 18 I and 18. Say it was, I was in high school, and I uh, 
you know, your first love I thought you said 16 and 16. It wasn't planned, of course. I said it did work. But, um, I mean, I'm, I'm a Southern boy, and I believe in home values and family values, so I feel like I'm a good dad, and I, I mean, I sure hope that I can be a good grandfather, you know? Why, why, Harry, should she choose you and not Clayton? I don't know if she should, man. You know, I love to laugh and smile. I tell dumb jokes. I act like a goofball. I like to hold hands. I like to open up doors. I do all those things that you might not expect from most men now. You know, my mom was a good role model. And why should she choose you, Clayton, and not mm. Harry? The first reason I'm, I'm not like a uh, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am kind of guy like this. I, 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 uh -huh. what? I had this sex guy. once. <laughs> Calling me. I don't I, have. I don't have a lot of sex, to man. To be honest, guys. I don't wham or bam. I, I thought they were gonna tell you about my virginity. If you want to bet? I would definitely cuddle with you as long oh, as you want to last spot. And then, and then some. I don't know, because grandpa, if you were to marry him, you'd be instant grandma. You'd be called grandma. I, I don't know. At the wow, end. that was like a great, dude, that's a. You like that. That's a good counter. It's a big leap in Like, life. if you fall in love with him. Right, you're a grandma. You become Instantly. a grandma. Yeah. Someone, someone is now going to call you. We don't know if you're a mother yet, but you'd go from. I guess I call my step-grandma grandma. So, yeah. So, yeah. That's a. That was a sneaky good okay. like, shot by Mark. More about the woman and more about pleasing himself and then getting out, but. Oh, you know what I mean? oh, but, you, you think you know, please? I would definitely be about, all about pleasing you, so that's what it's about. Oh, as he touches his so wiener. So they both have baggage so far, right? They do. They do, And Jerry. you don't know what's going to be in the big bags, do you? Yeah, and I'm kind of waiting mm -hmm. on that. Yeah, well, the up, whole show. They do the, the show and don't forget, 20 times. Did she dump her fiance on their wedding maybe, day? Maybe, maybe. Maybe. Did she forge a check to a charity? Ah, uh, no. yeah, sure. Was she thrown out of a theme park for having sex? Yeah, maybe. yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah. really yeah. likes that. Look how much he liked that. Charity. Or was she thrown out of a theme park for having sex? What theme park? But she just got rid of the guy for paying for sex, so maybe I love like theme parks. That's not the. Th but that's not love, man. Find out the truth when we come back. Patriarchy. I think she was. That new song. Don't go to your next date blind. Visit gsntv.com to discover date check, the tool Pretty that lets hot. you look up before you hook up. Plus, uncover extra Take baggage. Your not Take your sweatshirt off. I ate a lot of nuts. Yeah. That's don't affect me. I got a sweat. Field in show, powered by Intellius. <laughs> Welcome back to Baggage. I'm here with our data, Patricia, a flight attendant who's Trisha. looking for her love life to take off. Well, these two guys are about to reveal their biggest Rock secrets world. hiding in these bags, and Patricia will Whoa, make he's taller. her final yeah, decision. Will she choose Harry? Who needs his me time after I'm starting sex. to like Harry. He seems like, like, he's like, I can't believe oh, I'm on TV. choose Grandpa Clayton, <laughs> who's a whiz in the shower, but one of the few good men. He was like, Gentlemen, what? it is time to reveal your biggest piece of baggage. I thought he says they're baggage. Harry. Here we go. What? They both have... Look at that. There's your spin. That's how they got you, Jimbo. Jim Arooney. He could easily be a grandpa. Call you that? Use my 22-year-old son to pick up women. <laughs> his son is his pimp. Dad. What are you thinking? I what? think morally it sounds... Uh... How old is he? Like he doesn't have morals. Mm. He's using his own son. Well, Who does that? Also yeah, what is your explanation? Uh, I have a 22 year old son. You know, he's uh, we're really that really close. Be um, young 40s, he maybe. He likes to go out, and you know, he's just basically my wingman. And you know, we're both single guys, so when we're out, we meet girls, and they happen to like that. Oh, this is your son. Blah, you look so young. My gosh, you got a great dad. Blah, blah. And I say, you know, it all just kind of works out. It's not on purpose. It just works out that way. You know, I like spending time with him. So, you know, it's just kind of a. I like this guy. I like spending well, time with him. Sorry, I'm having sex have place, after. Please What's his name? Is it Mark with a C? Baggage. Harry. Harry? He made it up before the show. Oh, I'm wow. a male stripper in love. 
Uh, are we gonna get a little dance? Yeah. So he's just gonna do like a little party. What? Oh, that's an issue. Is I mean, it? you look like that's one. a big issue. Yeah. That's a huge. He looks like issue. he looks like AC Slater and Mark Sanchez mm, combined. I like that. And don't even try to say a different word because I nailed it. I think you had it. All right, thanks, Jake. Appreciate it. If you haven't seen him, you don't know. Grandfather <laughs> boxer stripper. <laughs> it's badass. I have a problem with that one yeah. because he's um, lived a life. He's not exclusively with me because women would be hitting on him all the time. Yeah. In the job, yes, that is definitely an issue you do hit on the women a lot. I mean, it is Correct. We're performing a service. You are entertaining. Well read. Um, what is the service? You bring them their meals? You're just, I guess you're, we're just, we're, we're doing our best to be women's fantasies. Yes. And we, I mean, that's what we do, but it's, in, in the end, I mean, it is just a fantasy. And I am, I am a one, I am a one woman kind of guy, so. St stripper or not, I'm a one woman kind of guy. Well, I can say, I've never seen an actual stripper perform. Do you, is it complete? Completely we new? Go. We wear shorts and maybe a G-string. You might tear it off and have a G-string underneath. Okay. Okay, I like him again. Okay, okay crowd. You and all are on the so Oh, yeah. It's not, uh, <clears throat> not just wiener out flapping. So uh, here's not the like deal. You do. Uh, it's time for you guys to make a final plea here. So I'm going to start with you, Harry. This is your final plea. Well, I mean, I'm a really great guy. Uh, you know, I like I enjoy every moment of, e of every day of my life. Um, I already, I'm already a good father to both my sons, so I already have that quality. What's you his will always say my name with a smile for oh, the rest of your life. That I can guarantee you. And my clothes. That's a cute line. For you. Is he American? Clayton. I, I firmly believe with even just being in the Marines and, and, like I said before, traveling the world and getting to meet all these different people. I think the people in your life. Or what make your life worth you know worth living make it special and so i just really I, I take people in and i treat them with genuine respect and kindness and i would do the same for you so that was a long preamble to say one more thing nice. i'm a family man too and, and i may be really close to my son but i would definitely never pimp him out like homeboy oh, over here please. and for the late dig i don't know if he needed that yeah, i don't know if he needed that, that. might have hurt All him right. more than it helped it's him it's time to choose Will Jersey. it be Harry Corked who up. keeps love letters I mean, this from got closer exes, than I thought. Must be alone after sex, <laughs> and who uses his 22-year-old son to pick up no, women. No, it's not going to be him. Whoa, no, will come it be on. Clinton, who pees in the shower every morning, is a 36-year-old grandfather, and who's a male stripper in Las Vegas. I think it, I think when he was Patricia, like, no, my G-string stays on, she looked packing. at the crowd like, Ugh, I don't right. know, Jerry. I don't know. And that dude. Why are you standing like that, man? That's... I'm sorry, Harry. Yeah. No, no. It's just because he's he's more dashable. Anything you'd like to say? Like uh, yeah, like I still him. got my 22-year-old son as my wingman, so oh. I'm good. It's time right. to pack oh, up. They don't sound Thank good. You. Yeah, weird. And congratulations, Clayton and Patricia. Whoa, he's excited. That was like a Sumo Get Sweet type, oh, like, earnest game show reaction. Don't get too happy just yet. Dump her fiance on their is hiding in this red bag. <laughs> we'll get to the bottom of it when we come back. I mean, he's not going to care. No, he doesn't give a he's shit. He's a boxer grandfather stripper. stripper. Yeah, he doesn't care. And he's been looking at her boobs the whole time. Welcome back to Baggage. Our data Patricia has just chosen Clayton here for an exciting date. And I swear, every time I look at you, I think I'm looking in a mirror. Uh, ha! But, but the tables have turned, and kind now nice it's pair. his decisions. Yeah, What's you can the see them together. In yeah. Patricia's big red bag. Did she dump her fiance on their wedding day? Maybe. Did she Maybe. forge a check to a charity? I hope not. Or was she oh, thrown she out of a theme park for having sex? I think so. And he's going to love he that. He doesn't Clayton, care. Of those he's three love possibilities, that. what would be the toughest baggage for you to handle? I think it's the first handle? one. Writing a bad check to a charity. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's just, that's just outright lying. I think that's it. I, I can't, I can't justify that. That is that's outright. Right. Right. I didn't really I think about that. that. Yeah. That's pretty tough. It is kind of fucked up. Okay. Well, let's see. Patricia. Yes. Please reveal your baggage. Don't be the charity. Yeah. Okay. Maybe. Oh, I dumped my fiance on our That's wedding tough. day. What is going through your mind? What do you want to I say? I mean, better than having First to go question through would be the like, divorce. Why wouldn't you? I mean, you had all these months to tell him. Why would you wait till the last minute to tell him? My life just flashed before me. 
um, right when I was there, you know. Oh, I know it was probably crazy. late, but I would rather have done that than marry the wrong person. I don't have right to on. Right on. You know, right on. I do want to meet somebody Makes special sense. to spend my life with. That is very important to me. So, so Clayton, I now have Obviously to ask you, you can accept is that. That this was so too much baggage to handle? Oh my God, Clayton! Patricia, I, he's been through some shit first in life. Off, it, the computers were just going so hard. It is pretty drastic that you would wait last minute to, but to I make a decision and tell him. The but that you made. I can also respect that you made that decision. You made the decision that was best for you. You know. He's got such a good so, male stripper army stance. I can accept that baggage. Make out on the spot. Make out. Congratulations! We've got a terrific day planned for you guys. Oh, oh. Ha. 81 Jerry's. Huh? Huh? Weird, Jerry. Remember, love begins when we carry each other's baggage. We'll see you next time. Not a good line. <laughs> Jerry's giggling. Uh, eight, 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 eight minus two Jerry's. What did you do? We skipped from like the first day to like the 40th day. Yeah, because you pretend to be that, yeah. like this person for that person, and then, right. and then the stuff comes out. Yeah, right. Exactly. <laughs> so we just skipped all that. We did. We did good. So that's fantastic. <laughs> yeah. They're in love. At the end, they put their heads together. They're in love. Yeah. they. L- it's like we've been dating forever. They, that was their six-month anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> they just shot that there. Zach That's has awesome. no penis. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. 